So this is, uh, people keep uh, begging us to talk about the bank situation. Right. So this is another uh, bank protest in Hunan. If you guys no, don't no. know, a lot of people took out some sort of kind of investment loan type thing. Or just open savings accounts. Or just accounts. open savings accounts in uh, Hunan rural banks. This is in mm -hmm. central China, central eastern China. And then the bank basically told them to F off. Yeah. We can't pay back what, what we owe you. Mm -hmm. You're, you can't even access your money anymore. People yeah. freak out. They have protests. They get arrested. They get beaten. Yeah. It it's the China thing. way, right? Yeah. Now, there is an update on that that goes past that and has more obligations of not just banks in Hunan anymore, but banks all around China. So actually, only this morning, I started to get messages from uh, people in China that I know. Yeah. And I started to see things being posted on social media. A lot of people... and. Now we're talking about big banks like Bank of China, yes. okay? Yes. Not just these far-flung Hernan banks or whatever. A lot of big banks right now are doing this this interesting thing where they're freezing people's accounts. Yeah. Okay, but for for nothing. Like for instance, um one dude, he bought he does this every day. He pays for like his food using uh Jefubao and then he buys stuff with WeChat. It's nothing out of the ordinary. He made two purchases. Like he would almost every day, mm. okay? And his card was frozen. Yeah. And he asked why, and they said, oh, you're making too many online purchases. We're worried that it's fraud. Yeah. Everybody in China only makes online purchases. Nobody uses cash anymore. No. Okay? So it's weird. And they're saying the it's only... It's not a reason to yeah, flag an it's account. not. And they're saying the only way that you can fix this is to come down physically to the bank. Oh, let me tell you something about waiting in the bank. Yeah. In China, it's a whole day affair. You take a number... Yeah. And let me tell you, there is a lot of people in front of you each time. You, you want to know what's even worse about it? What? Is that I know some people here in the States who have accounts with Bank of China and so on. And they buy everything online still. They still use their bank account in China oh, to buy stuff online. Here. Yeah, they yeah. live here. But think about it. You buy stuff on Taobao to get yeah, shipped yeah, here. Sure, sure. You buy stuff on Taobao to send to your family and friends yeah. in China. You're paying your mortgage or whatever it is using a bank account, using online banking. Some of their banks have been frozen Bank now. Bank of China. And internationally. Yeah, and they're like, okay, easy. Just come in and come in physically. Oh, the snap. So now you've got people that are overseas that cannot access their funds unless they go back to China, back to the branch to go get it sorted out. Wow. Can you see why this could be a big issue? Yeah. So this is happening across the board. Lots and lots of people are having this all of a sudden that like their cards are being frozen for like very trivial reasons. Like, oh, you bought too many things online, which is nonsense, right? So it's a way to keep capital in the banks. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. It can't be proven, but the fact of the matter is the banks don't want money being, you yeah. know, especially with the current situation with the yeah. real estate and all the bad loans and the bad debt. Right. The banks are probably trying to hold on to as much cash or as much uh, liquid, whatever you call that crap, you know, as possible, enough, as much capital. And if people are drawing money out and buying stuff, the bank can't use that money for their loans and they're paying back their debts and all that kind of stuff. So they want to keep it in the bank. Yeah. But this is kind of having the opposite <clears throat> effect of what they want, because now a lot of people online are starting to get frustrated and saying, why am I putting my cash in the bank then? I may as well just keep money in, you know, under my mattress or yeah, keep it at, at home. Point, yeah. And remember, th this is... For the longest time in China, that was always the way: is to keep your money cash, keep it at home. How many times? So unstable. Did, how many times did we hear about those cases where like termites oh ate gosh. like people's life fortunes or whatever, and because they, they keep it under the bed or something, and then they look one day and it's half eaten or whatever? Or <laughs> how many people get robbed in China? Yeah, house robberies are huge. Yeah, and they in steal China. people's life yeah. savings. So I mean, the fact is though, the banks are really screwing people around right yeah. now, and it's something to keep an eye on because it's no longer these small banks. This whole thing about just randomly freezing people's accounts is becoming quite a big thing. Yes. And especially for overseas Chinese, it's terrifying. Right. Because you won't be able to... I mean, imagine your bank card is frozen. You can't pay your mortgage. You can't do anything. Yeah. Without going back to China physically into that bank. And you can't. Yeah. It's like, what, 20 grand to go back there? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Right. The prices and the, the flights aren't very good. And then you have to quarantine for seven days. <laughs> and then they'll steal your passport and not let you leave. It's like, what's <laughs> it's, going it's on? A bad, it's a bad situation. It's a bad, bad situation. So... Yeah.